everybody, my name's Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. So today's video is all about my May sewing plans. So I've got four plans that I'd like to share with you today. And I would say that they are what I would say is maybe like basics or wardrobe staples because May is, um, well, me made May challenge runs. Um, and I'm going to pledge for me made May that I want to try and wear at least one item of me made clothing every day. So that's exactly what I pledged myself last year. And I found it quite easy last year because at that time we were in lockdown, um, we weren't going out anywhere. So I could really just wear what I wanted. Um, any day. Whereas this year, yes, we still do have restrictions here in the UK, um, but we can go out a little bit more, we can meet people outside, and um, the restrictions may change kind of um, mid May that you might be able to see more people or be able to, you know, go indoors and things. So, um, yeah, I kind of thought I'm going to be going out a little bit more. I'm also going to be returning to uh, the office at work one day a week. So it means I can, you know, use a bit of my uh, like workwear style wardrobe. So anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm going off on a tangent there. But yes, for Me Made May, I will be pledging to wear one item of Me Made clothing every day. So in case anyone is wondering, today I'm wearing uh, two Tilly and the Buttons patterns. This uh, red pinafore is from her book Make It Simple. This is the olive pinafore. And then the top that I'm wearing underneath is the Freya top. And this is from her book Stretch. Okay, so let me show you what I'm planning on making. Have a sip of tea first. Mm -mm. So as I said, I want to do some basics or wardrobe staples. And the first thing that I would like to do is make another Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top. So yeah, I'm all, all about the Tilly today. <laughs> um, I have made a few um, of the Agnes uh, tops before. It's a really nice pattern. It's got quite a nice shape on here. You can see on the waist here that it does actually kind of, you know, go with your curves. So it's not one of those t-shirts that kind of just, you know, kind of skims over everything. It is a little bit more fitted. I wouldn't say it's tight or anything like that, but it's just kind of maybe more suited to, you know, the body shape. And I do like this because it does fit quite nicely on the arms as well. And I want to make a top to actually go underneath my recent uh, poppy pinafore by Loopy Mabel's Closet. Just got it up here. So um, you've probably seen my review video of this. Um, so yes, I made this poppy pinafore and I would like to make a little jersey t-shirt for underneath. I was wearing a yellow one in the video but I would like to make a pink version. So I had a look at a little rummage in my stash and I found that I did actually have some baby pink jersey. Now I have actually kind of already cut into this because I think I used this for some cuffs, I think on my Juno pajamas. Um, I did like a, a cat um, print Juno pajama set and I think I used some of this pink for the cuffs of the, of the um, uh, trousers and possibly maybe the like the ribbing, if you will, with it. So um, I should have enough left to make a little t-shirt um, for that. So yeah, it's just a nice little baby pink on there. And I thought that that would go quite nicely with that because you've got the pink, uh, like the bright pink in the little flowers, but I thought the baby pink would just set that off quite nicely. So yes, that is my first plan, nice and simple. And then my second plan that I would like to attempt to do is the uh, paper cut um, palisade pants, I think they're called. I think that's how you pronounce them. Um, so yes, they are these um, trousers here where, I mean, the picture doesn't really show it off amazingly well, but I'll show you the line drawings. So they are kind of tapered trousers and they've got these uh, seams that go up the middle. Um, it's an elasticated waist, so it's flat at the front and then you have the elastic 
going all the way around the back. And what I really like about this is the pocket detail. So again, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see from the picture. Can you see there's this little crossover pocket? And I just thought that was really, really nice. And I thought, you know, elasticated trousers are going to be really nice and easy to wear. If the weather starts warming up as well, then I always find, you know, elasticated trousers are really nice to wear with a nice loose top um, over the top or something tucked in if you want to make it look a bit smarter. Um, so, yeah, I saw these and I thought I really wanted to give them a go. So the fabric that I'm thinking of for these is um, some linen that I got from Beyond the Pink Door and it is this navy linen and I got two metres of this so that should be um, enough for the trousers but it's just a really nice quality linen you can see there the slub on there and it's really nice quality nice and soft and uh, I just thought that would be lovely for a pair of trousers and being navy it's just going to go with so many other tops and things from my wardrobe. Um, also being linen, as I said, in summertime, it would just be lovely to wear. It's going to be lovely and cool and easy to wear. And um, yeah, I don't mind, you know, that creasy look of linen, especially in trousers and things, because, you know, it's got that kind of relaxed summer feel. So I thought that would be lovely. So yeah, that is my uh, hopeful second plan. And my other two plans are kind of based around the trousers as well. I wanted to make tops that definitely went with the trousers. And uh, you may have seen when I showed my fabric haul, um, I can't remember when it was, but I also had um, this linen, which I also got from Beyond the Pink Door. And this was a remnant piece. So I think I've got like 1.2, I think, metres of this. And my original thought was to make a pair of shorts out of it. But then loads of you said that it would actually go really, really well with the navy linen. And I just kind of thought, actually, that would make a really nice top to actually go with the trousers. So I thought, you know, try and keep it nice and simple because it's a lovely design. I don't want to interrupt it sort of too much. Um, and I thought of the Grainline Studio Willow Tank because that is a really nice straightforward pattern. I believe it's just a front piece and a back piece and then you bias bind the neck and the armholes. Now beforehand, like I probably would have avoided that pattern because I really didn't like bias binding. But I've actually been doing quite a lot of it recently and just trying to up my skill on it. And now I think it is now the time to tackle that pattern because it's just nice, straightforward little um, like shell top. And um, yeah, I just thought that would be really, really nice in this linen. So yeah, that is my third plan. <laughs> And then my fourth plan for May is going to be using a pattern from the Deer and Doe ebook, um, which I got a while back. And um, it's their book called Dressed. And in there, you've got a whole variety of patterns and it is meant to be, you know, kind of like your wardrobe staples. And I saw that there was a pattern in there that's called the Button Up Blouse. And it's just a really straightforward blouse pattern where it's just literally, as it says, it's a button up. So it has got like this kind of V shape neck. And then I think you can do like a short sleeve or a slightly longer half sleeve. And it's just got, I think it's about five buttons uh, going up the front. And I just thought, again, that would be lovely as just, you know, a nice wardrobe basic that I can, you know, team up with my linen trousers or my jeans or smart trousers. And I kind of thought as well, be nice to make something, you know, as I say, I'm going back into the office one day a week and that will hopefully increase um, in the, you know, in the coming months. And I kind of thought it'd be nice to make myself a nice blouse for the office. So I have this fabric, I've had it in my stash for ages and it's one of those fabrics that I've always been a bit scared to cut into, um, but I think I need to be brave. That was my kind of motto for uh, this year, was to be brave in my sewing and just go for it. So um, yeah, I'm going to cut into this gorgeous fabric. 
It is a Lady McElroy um, viscose crepe, I think it is. And it is this oh, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous bird print. I think it's called Dawn Chorus, I think was the name of it. But it is absolutely stunning. All of those absolutely beautiful birds on there. It is just beautiful. And as I say, I was just being scared to cut into it because I just kind of thought like, oh, it's just so pretty and I don't want to ruin it. But it needs to be used. It's just sitting in my stash and nobody is seeing it. So I need to make it into a beautiful blouse so that everyone else can see this beautiful fabric. So um, I think this will look lovely as the um, button up blouse. I've got a metre and a half of it. And I think the pattern says that you need about 1.2 or 1.3 metres, I think. Now, because I've got a um, obvious directional print, then uh, one and a half metres should be absolutely fine for me to make sure that I get everything lined up. Also, with that top, I thought, because it's quite nice um, lines, I thought it won't interrupt the um, design too much as well. I need to give it a press. It's been obviously in my stash, kind of folded up for a while, so it's gone all crinkly. Um, but yeah, I just thought that would be really nice. And I just thought that would be also to go well, say, with the uh, linen trousers as well. So if I'm wearing those and then I can tuck this little blouse in there as well. So yeah, I think I'm just trying to, you know, make things that actually go together. I am a bit guilty of just making a pattern um, with whatever fabric I want and uh, just because that's what I feel like doing. And I don't actually always think about, well, actually what would go with that? Do I actually have things in my wardrobe or things that I, you know, have made um, that can actually go together? So I do want to try and think about that a little bit more. So um, yes, that was my fourth plan. Okay, so that was everything. I'll just give you a quick recap of the um, uh, items that I'd like to make. I will put this up for a vote to um, have a sew along for one of them. So yeah, let me give you a reminder. So first up, it was the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top in the pale pink jersey. The next plan was the Palisade um, pants by Papercut in the navy linen or the Willow Tank by Grainline Studio in the leaf print linen or it was the Deer and Doe um, button-up blouse from the book uh, Dressed in the Dawn Chorus um, viscose crepe. So there we go, that was the roundup of all the patterns that I'm planning on making in May. So um, I will put them all up on a vote on my community tab so you can tell me which one you would like to see as a sew along. If you haven't subscribed already, then please do. Um, I hit over 5,000 subscribers recently, which was amazing. I can't believe that, you know, 5,000 people actually watch me yabbering on about sewing. It's amazing, thank you. <laughs> okay, well take care everybody and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye!